And that guy in the green jacket is walking away. I see real anger for the first time. He's coming back here. He's yelling at the dude in the security booth over there. He's the one, the green jacket guy, is the one who parked his gray car right up on the sidewalk, blocking the whole way. This is like the first anger. See, what are they doing? He's getting more people involved. And there's police over here, which I was just getting ready to film. <laughs> Why are they upset? This is the first, like, violent interaction. <clears throat> yeah, let's put it out here. right here. Like, what are the cops doing? Why can't the cops go and settle that? <laughs> I don't know that they need to. I just, I feel like since uh, violence is not a thing here, this is out of the ordinary, something that cops might get involved in, but maybe not when they have a flat tire. Don't run over any people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, they're leaving. All right, well. And that's that. Cops didn't do jack. The ladies were over here uh, rubbernecking just like me because it's not normal. But I'm pretty sure this cop did get a flat tire. That looks flat to me. I was trying to come up with a hilarious uh, <laughs> analogy or simile. Not things as flat as a tootie pop goobies loop after you smack them with your sniggish nibs. You know, but I just couldn't do it. Somebody's gonna have to come help him. Like, he doesn't seem to be willing to help himself. Or maybe he has no idea he has a flat tire at this point. That's probably what it is. He has no clue. Because sometimes they do just sit here parked for no real apparent reason for some amount of time that seems long to me and nothing is done. And so now, once he feels like he's done, ready to move to the next spot, he's going to be like, I've got a flat tire. I've got to do something about this. And maybe I can see it when it happens. <laughs> what voice is that? I don't know. All right, I'll come back later.